Good morning. Today we're at Dollar Tree. We're going to check out some of the deals they got going on in here. See if they have anything new. I know a lot of Dollar Trees have gone up in price across the country. Not sure if this one has gone up yet, but we're going to check it out. Let's get to it. That's for sure they are ready for Valentine's Day. As soon as we come in, usually right up front is where they have their holiday Dollar Tree specials. All this stuff is a dollar. Now you guys know my wife Jess is a decorator. I'm sure if she came in here, she would probably buy a couple of these things. We don't usually decorate too much for Valentine's Day. Just a couple little things. But these are pretty nice. Little wooden Valentine's Day. I don't know what to call it. Door greeting. All kinds of candy. As far as I know, this is all still a dollar. At least the Valentine's Day stuff. Um, great deals in here. We love Dollar Tree. It's always good to know that you're going to come out of here... Feeling like you get your money's worth. Ooh, look at this. Trolleys, mashups, sweet and sour. Some of you guys have asked for me to check for the Nestle Splash flavored waters uh, at Kroger. First time I've seen them here, dollar for six of them. It's a pretty good deal. They do have a couple different brands here. Uh, this one, you only get four of them. Uh, the mandarin ones you get six you guys will have to forgive me if I sound like I'm a little frozen It is 14 degrees outside here in Cincinnati. See, they have refilled their toys Little treats for the kiddos Hey, look at this. They got these little fidget bubble pop things man for a buck I mean these are kind of expensive because they're popular Maybe I'll get just one one thing I love about Dollar Tree is they always have plenty of birthday wrapping paper, tape, bags, party supplies. Great place to shop for that stuff. Looks like they have a lot of boxes to put away. Seems like every time I come to Dollar Tree anymore, they are just loaded with boxes in the middle of the aisles. Doesn't matter what day I come here. So I don't know if they get trucks in a couple days a week. Usually stores like this just get one truck a week. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Where else can you get a bag of Home City Ice? for one dollar pretty much anywhere you go it is $2.99 or more for a bag of ice it is kind of off the beaten path so I mean it's not really make it's not really worth it to make an extra trip to Dollar Tree just for a bag of ice but keep in mind if you are going to Dollar Tree they do have ice for a dollar feel like a lot of the frozen foods here are kind of scattered we have seen that these Michelinas meals have been very low at the grocery store low here but I'm just surprised they have them. Also, some of you guys have talked about these frozen meatballs here, that they're pretty good. Uh, still never tried them. I don't know, we make our own meatballs. It's kind of hard to go back from that. We always have meat in our freezer where we can make our own, but they do have these. Some of you guys were asking about them. Also, they have the Italian style uh, version here too. They do have lots of these little miniature pizzas for a dollar, Celeste never tried this brand before let me know if some of the brands that you see that I'm showing here if you've tried before let me know down below if they're any good or not um, never we usually don't get these little frozen pizzas we do get the Totino's but as we've seen Totino's is kind of empty all over the place at least around Cincinnati they do still sell the single hot pockets for a dollar uh, multiple kinds this is a lot more than we saw the last time and they got the big burritos here for a dollar too, and the extra large chimichangas some of you guys asked about. They do have a decent freezer section here at this particular Dollar Tree. They do have the Fast Bite Chicken Sandwiches, which some of you, I've kind of got mixed reviews on these. Some of you said they're good, some of you said they're terrible. They do sell the State Fair brand of corn dogs. Two corn dogs for a dollar, that don't seem too bad. And they have little bags of the mini corn dogs there. I've never bought any frozen vegetables from Dollar Tree before, but for a dollar to get mixed vegetables and stuff frozen, it's a pretty good deal. Never tried the I've never, we've never tried any of the frozen uh, vegetables from Dollar Tree, but you know, if Kroger's ever runs out, we know where to come. Winding River Crinkle Fries that you guys have talked about. Actually, this is the first time we've seen these in a while. All the food here seems like it's a dollar. Hey, look at this. They do have the griddle cakes of the Jimmy Dean sandwiches for a dollar. Uh, not really the kind we like, but I know some of you guys are asking about them. And they do have the Creations brand waffles, which we have actually tried these. And they're really not too bad. 
You only get six waffles for a dollar, but I mean, that's not a bad deal. The blueberry ones are the ones that I got. They're actually pretty good. They're not Eggo waffles. As a matter of fact, they taste nothing like it, but for a dollar, they're not bad. One thing that does taste bad is this Donald Duck fruit punch. If you guys remember when I bought that, yeah, it's real tangy. Um, I really, I, I didn't try the grape. I know someone told me to try the grape, but the fruit punch was terrible. Not even gonna waste a dollar on that. I, some people might like it, I don't know, but I was not a fan. So as we can see, it's pretty much everywhere. Juice is taking a hit at all grocery stores around us. Um, haven't seen much Old Orchard anywhere. Still a dollar, not a bad deal. Uh, I have tried the cranberry before, that's that's not too bad. Um, they are running low on the Arizona teas, they don't even have the sweet tea that we like. Not surprised though, because that one's pretty popular. And you get this big jug for a dollar. Now at most Dollar Trees or any value stores, you do kind of kind of have to look around because they do have things kind of scattered about. Um, we'll, you'll see one item in one area and then it'll be in another area. One thing I did want to show is they do have the snack packs that a lot of you guys have asked about. One dollar for a four pack. And they have quite a bit. Um, vanilla, mostly just vanilla. And they have one little box here of strawberry. So that might be one that's hard to get in. I, I'm sure chocolate is probably the most popular. My wife really enjoyed these Dunkaroos the other day when I brought them back, so I'm going to buy a few of these, a dollar a piece. Take us back to the late 80s, early 90s. I mean, she absolutely loved those things. I don't see Dunkaroos in any stores except for Dollar Tree. It's the only place I've been able to find them. Now, obviously, they're going to be smaller portions, but, you know, they do have Oreos, even double stuff Oreos. Um... You know, not very many in there, but it's only a dollar. You know, if you're here and you're just packing up on a couple things, good for a road trip or something. They do have the original animal crackers here from Stouffer's. Uh, we did see a great deal on the ones at um, Aldi's. They had a huge box of them. Everybody's been saying that those are really good. I did try these thin shortbread Milano looking cookies. They're actually pretty good. They are the... Sobisk, Sobisk brand. Um, for a dollar, you get 12 cookies. Obviously, they're not Milano's, but they do have a similar flavor. One nice thing that they do have that I can't find anymore in stores are the three pack boxes of Cracker Jacks. Uh, you can buy the bags of Cracker Jacks, but I don't know. I just, I think they just taste better out of the box. There is an aluminum foil on the inside that keeps them fresh. I know some of you guys were saying like, oh, it's got a cardboard taste. No, it's got an aluminum lining, so you don't taste it. It's more for nostalgia, I guess, for me. Plus, you get the little prize. One thing I always get here that I forgot to show in the last video was the Mountain Trail Mix. This stuff is delicious. It's only a dollar. So I forgot to put in the video the last time. We got these guaca chips, and they're not that great. Just wanted to point that out. I forgot to mention it in the last video. People were asking about it. Some of you guys were commenting on where I found the pretzel cheese dippers. Well, this is where I found them. Dollar Tree. Um, good snack. They also have two different kinds here. They got the pretzel and the crackers one. I got the crackers. Uh, the pretzel one's okay. The pretzels are a little dry. The cracker ones are better. You can always find plenty of Green Giant canned goods. Uh canned vegetables they got the vegetable blend mix here that we use for vegetable soup sometimes when we can't find del monte oh by the way del monte did go back up in price at kroger it's a dollar 25 a can in my opinion still worth it um i do got some different chilies here some beef stew beef hash i've never tried any of these so if you've tried the southgate brand canned good chili beef hash let me know down in the comments okay so the last time we were here they don't have it now but i tried the campbell's kitchen classics chicken noodle soup i gotta say it was pretty delicious this is the only place i've seen the kitchen classics uh they do have some other campbell's here uh campbell's soups they're all a dollar um chicken with rice seems to be the the big seller here they do have some Let's see, cream of chicken, and they do have some chicken noodle. 
That's not the one I tried though. The one I tried was the Kitchen Classic. It was pretty delicious. Also a cheap place to get tuna. They actually have Starkist tuna here for a dollar. That's been like $2.09, 2 dollars at Kroger uh, for one can. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, plus they have the boxed chicken salads. They got some new ones here. Ranch tuna salad. And here's a lemon pepper tuna salad. I wonder how that is. A lot of you guys were commenting on the Vienna sausages from the one I got at Aldi. Uh, those are really good, but these are good too. I've had Libby's before. Uh, they are pretty good. One of the things that you guys have commented on a lot from Dollar Tree are the spices. And so far, everything we've gotten from here, all the spices have been really good. We've tried the garlic powder, the garlic salt. Somebody mentioned this steakhouse seasoning. I have a lot of different steakhouse seasonings. So I'm not going to buy any right now. I have kinds that I like, like there's a Morton's uh, that I really like and a couple others. But yeah, I got plenty of this stuff for sure. I even have these little tiny ranch dressing. I mean, it's not much, but it's only a dollar still. I know a lot of Dollar Trees across the country have gone up to a dollar twenty-five, and then they sell some products for, you know, three to five dollars depending. I've heard that that's not going to be any of these type of products. Once it goes up to $1.25, yes, these things will have an extra 25 cents added to them. Some of you guys were talking about this Victor Allen's iced coffee drinks. I did try this maple pecan. I didn't like the maple pecan, but this is the only kind I've ever seen here. Maybe they'll get more in in the future. I will say, if you like green olives, these green olives are really good. It's the Breckenridge Farms brand. Only a dollar? I mean, that's a good amount of green olives for a buck. Now these little bags of cereal are still only a dollar, but we can see that they downsize. They're a little smaller, uh, like I was saying in the last video, probably about a bowl, bowl and a half at the most. Whenever me and Jessica go on vacation, I like to come here, you know, if I don't have like a container to put my coffee mate, we get a lot of these little things for our road trips. That's a nice little, little tiny coffee mate. That'll get you through about a week. Now, surprisingly, they do have this Taster's Choice Nestle's Instant Coffee, which is funny because we saw the jars of this. I think it was like 12 ounces at Kroger for $12. $12. This is six servings here for $1. You could just come here and buy like four or five of these and be good to go. So I've never really been a big fan of Sunny D. It is kind of funny that it's back out. A lot of these nostalgia things we're finding at some of these dollar stores. Sunny D, I didn't even know they still made it until one of you guys commented that I had passed it in the last video and you couldn't believe that they sold it here. And that's a pretty big thing of it for a buck. Never been a huge fan of Sunny D, but I know some of you guys out there are and they do sell it here at Dollar Tree. They even have little three packs, which isn't as good of a deal as this. Um, but you can get little three packs of these for a dollar take to lunch or school. I almost missed this before, but one of you guys had mentioned the Chocolate Fusion Original Gourmet Cookies from these. We ha I have tried these, they are delicious. I did want to point out that they do have these huge bags of Cracker Jacks for $1. What a deal. Another thing that I like about the boxes is that it kind of portions itself out for me. If I buy this bag, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. These will last me a little while. Some of you guys were talking about the Goya beans. Well, the only beans I see here from Goya are black beans, but they do have them. All I had to do was look up a little and we found some Goya chickpeas garbanzo beans. I don't know if that's something you're looking for, but they do have them here. Also, we do have some dry bean options. I know a lot of you guys were asking about dry beans. Yeah. They do have the red kidney beans, dry beans. Got some jasmine rice here. Okay, a lot of you guys were asking about that. Dollar, not a very big bag, but might get you through a couple meals. Do have some bagged pinto beans. Uh, bagged dry black beans. Two different kinds there. They got the kojak lentils. And we got some more long grain rice. I know a lot of you guys were asking about rice. I did remember that they sold some bags here. Dry beans we have seen that are a lot less at like Kroger, but we've seen a good amount of rice and beans at Sam's Club. If any of you guys were curious, I did end up trying the Cheetos mac and cheese. I did not like it. It was pretty bad. So some of you guys were talking about the Pampa uh, grape jelly. 
I think, uh, no, the strawberry preserves. Somebody had mentioned these to see if uh, I could find them at Dollar Tree. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen them here. I wanted to point this out. They do have them back in. They also have the fruit spread in a, in a bottle. Looks like you get a little more here in the glass jar. But they also have the Frutessa Raspberry Preserves, which is kind of cool because we haven't seen raspberry preserves in a long time anywhere. So they never really seem to have chicken ramen at this Dollar Tree, but they do have a lot of the beef. Um, we've seen that ramen has kind of been being bought up again, so whenever we come across this, I try to point it out. In one of my last videos, you guys had mentioned that these cables aren't worth even buying for a dollar. Um, you know, I don't know. It seems like this kind of stuff has really shot up at Walmart and Target, so... The way I look at it is if you buy one and it breaks in a month, well, you only spend a dollar on it. But, yeah, you don't want to buy something that's, you know, a lot of you guys were commenting about these and how bad they were. So, you have convinced me not even to spend a dollar on one. As a matter of fact, that night that me and Jess read a bunch of your guys' comments on how bad these were, we got on Amazon and I ordered like two 10-foot USB-C cables to go for my phone and all our recording equipment here and stuff. And I was, um, they're great. And, and they actually charge your phone up a lot faster. I forget the brand name, but they're really good. They're like the 10 foot cloth cords. I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name of them, but if you look on Amazon, they were like two for $15. And I've had them for a couple months now and they're great. I always love all these little odds and ends too that you can find at Dollar Tree, like some work gloves, you know, if you gotta work on your car or something. I got those kind of gloves, uh, different outside, you know, working in the working in the woods or whatever, cutting some trees down, trimming some bushes, doing some yard work, landscaping, you know, exercise. We have bought up so much of this kind of stuff here over the years just because it's so cheap. Um, and a lot of good car fresheners too. You know, I've had this one before. This one's pretty good. This is the cherry smell here. And lots of cool little hanger things that you can stick up, you know. This stuff can get expensive at, like, other stores. Like, I saw at Walmart, uh, something similar to this was, like, $11.99 for four of them. I don't know if it was the command strips, maybe a little better brand, I don't know, but a lot cheaper here. One thing Jessica loves, and we did get a lot of comments on this stuff. Now, I know it's not the same at every Dollar Tree, but they do have a lot of crafting items. Stuff to keep you busy, do some little crafting with the kids or just yourself. Um, little things you can make bracelets and uh, little beads here. Good price. I mean, for a buck, you can't beat it. I know uh, my niece loves this kind of stuff too. Hey, glue gun. I don't know how good of a glue gun that is, but wow, that's pretty good for a buck. You know, all these cool little things you can paint, you know. Oh, this would be nice. Something for Something for Valentine's Day or... If you have a newborn baby, that would be cool to just put your baby's feet in this picture and maybe paint some stuff on that there. Really cool. Got a little, little chalkboard. You can write notes and stuff like that. All kinds of cool stickers. I love this place. This place is really awesome. Oh, and this is something else you guys had mentioned. Uh, a lot of the little baby clothes. They have these little, little foodie... foodie Little things there, baby booties. They got the little socks. I know this stuff can get expensive at Walmart or Target or you know some other places. Uh, different rash creams, you know, gotta have that for the babies. And I don't know anything of any of these products, so you know I'm probably not the best to uh, describe it. But it's nice that they do have a lot of this stuff. One thing that you always want to check with pacifiers is that it's BPA free and. Sans EPA, BPA, I don't know what that means down there at the bottom. This is BPA free and Sans BPA. Okay, yeah, I would probably look that up to find out what that is because I really don't know, but they got all this baby stuff, you know, they've got some petroleum jelly here, stuff like that, little baby bottles. I think these are too cute. I mean, for a set of these for a buck. Jeez, can't beat it. Well, that was our trip to Dollar Tree. Glad to see that the prices have still not gone up. Uh, lady in there said they don't expect it to go up for a couple, maybe a few months. 
so that's good so we know we can come back we know what we're going to spend um i love that i love dollar tree I always feel rich when i come in here thank you so much for watching the video today with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there